in the Madaroid Ikaruga. Now, excuse my tone. Today has been a turbulent day, but this thing did make my day a little bit better. Just a little bit. Although my mood is down in the dumps, yep, I'm still going to be doing the stream. I'm still going to be pressing on with it so that I could tell you guys how bad my day was. But anyways, here we have the Modoroid Ikaruga, the box art looking very, very nice. You have the blueprint of the Ikaruga as the background, and you do have the Ikaruga itself holding on to all four of the sworded cannons, which is very nice looking. And of course, here we have the, uh, the name Ikaruga with the katakana over here. And powered by whoever the hell this is, made by Motoroid. Of course, this is made by Good Smell Company under the Motoroid line. And of course, on the sides of the box, where we have a continuation of the box art with the Katakana. More of that over here. And there is the photos, the promo photos that we've seen quite a bit on the back over here. And of course you have some warnings and this is not my typical box like this is not like the lids box with lids this has yeah although i did kind of break it a little bit this kind of actually opens up like this so yeah i'm gonna open it up at the side and i'm not gonna be bothering taking these parts out of the bags because i have a full bag of runners i need to get rid of and the plastic bags go in the same bag as well so yeah i'm not gonna bother just plumping that bag up any further until I get rid of the contents of the trash bag. But anyways, excuse the knocking of the mic there, let's get onto the plates first. First of all, here we have the uh, C plates over here, looking nice, but I'm not really too sure about the satin blue. I feel like it needs to be a little bit richer, but I'm not too sure about that. Next up, we have the M plates with the gold pieces. They look to be the Justice Knight kind of gold with a little bit of a fine flake in there with the gold. And then we have the end plate, more of that gold, which for the little pieces. And then we have the G plate for some of the, some of the thrusters. Not too sure where this is gonna go, but all right. I'm gonna move OBS to the side. I'm not gonna edit this, by the way, because yeah, mood is terrible. Mood is down to the dumps. And we have the J plate, which is the kind of satinish gray. It's not exactly black, which I did not expect them. But, but yeah, I expected them to be kind of like a black, but I may be a little bit flustered to remember exactly. Now, here we have the F plate and the O plate. So the F plate consists of the joints and the manipulators. And the old plate consists of more of the gold, and of course, here have the gold parts of the loincloth. Next up over here, here we have two E plates over here for the subarms, as you may expect. This thing does have two sets of subarms on top of the one main set. Over here now we have the A plate and the B plate. So this is basically more of that mattish blue. Now I, I don't understand why Motheroid or basically, well, Good Smile Company uses these small plates because they could have perfectly gotten away with a smaller box with larger plates. But I don't know if this is a thing that Modoroid does or something like that, but I'm not too sure. Here we have D plates, basically for the sorted cannons, and it looks as though they are going to be color separated, but I'm not too sure. Just because the... Uh, just because the preview photos, like there were some preview photos back in the day, back in the day, like I talk like it, it is like announced a few years ago. But anyways, like like back then, there were preview photos showing that the blades are completely in blue. So I don't know what to think about it. And the decal sheet does not provide any information about what what the rest of that is, how that rest of that is going to be dealt with. Here are some L plates for the joints for, of the subarms. And then we have K plates for more manipulators. And apparently you use a grip. So there are hands that actually have the grip of the sorted cannons molded into them. So I don't think they're going to be separate weapons like you could give them to any other kit. Although the handle's size may be allowing that to happen. No, the, the hands are basically molded into the grips of the swords. So unfortunately, you cannot detach them from the Ikaruga and give it to anybody else. But hopefully, 
the actual finished product has a pretty good reason for that. And then we have the H plate, some more thrusters and joints. And then finally, in terms of plates, here we have the I plates. So for more of the joints. And then these these are really special because I never expected them to actually like mold the V fin and the face excluding the runners. But the face over here does actually have pre-painted detail. Now the camera is also of course having an aneurysm, not knowing what to focus on. So let me give it a little bit of help, try to anyways. But you can clearly see that the face has some pre-painted detail, which is very nice. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully it does look good, but we do not need any stickers for the face, which is pretty good. But speaking of stickers, we have decals. So I will be posting these all on, not on stream though, so don't worry. I'm not gonna stay silent for like an hour and a half, just trying to put all of these decals on. So rest assured, I'm gonna leave the torture to myself. Bef like after I finish all my homework anyways I have one more piece of homework so let's hope that I get that done quick tomorrow and I don't know what this is on about because this is talking about like the uh, the decal guide uh, it's, a, it's a white sheet on the back decal guide and more decal guides I I sure as hell don't know how to read Japanese but this is basically warning you about the decal placement but I'm not too sure what this sheet is talking about and of course here you have a little card for Good Smile Company and finally here we have the instruction manual with the box are looking pretty good is this a manual or a booklet oh it's it's, it's a pamphlet okay good to know so here we have some more promo images and the decal guide that doesn't look boring as hell, like the real grades. Some more decal guides, the parts count, and the for Japan use only order sheet. So, oh my god, this is gonna be torture. <laughs> and then, here we have the assembly guide. So, considering that fact that they use just a few pages to cover the entire construction, it sounds like it is going to be very, very simple, but yeah, it looks as though the bladed cannons or the sorted cannons, you will need to actually paint in the black detail yourself, which is a shame. They could have easily go, gone ahead and covered that with stickers or basically, basically mold the black and then put the blue blade onto that. But no, you need to paint in a lot of the details of the sorted cannons unfortunately and yeah they are molded into the hands but the overall construction does look pretty simple as far as i'm seeing here so i'm looking forward to building this thing but i gotta get this I gotta get the trash bag beside me cleared out because surely to hell they it would not hold any of the uh any more of these plastic bags or emptied out runners but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for the unboxing tell me in the comments below what you think are you excited for the kit also look forward to the stream but if not the review Peace out.